Hey guys, today I am here with these brushes from a company called Happy Hun. It's H-A-P-P-Y-H-U-N-D. Um, you can find these on Amazon, it's all one word. And these are their de-shedding and massaging brushes. Now, it might look like a pretty standard brush to you. Um, the design obviously is a bit unique. Um, but one of the things that you can't see just by looking at these brushes, um, the handle is pretty neat. It's also adjustable, so you can adjust it. There's um, these two little notches that you push in, and then it locks in to all kinds of different positions. Now, it's locked in. I, it doesn't move at all when I brush Sadie. You can do it in the position that is the most comfortable for you. Um, so that's something unique that these brushes offer that other similar products don't. So now I'll give you a close up. Um, there's five different brushes and I want to show you what each one looks like up close. The first one I'm going to show you is the de-shedding tool. Um, it has a blade that looks similar to like a Ferminator style uh, de-shedding tool. And as you can tell, I can uh, brush Sadie. It doesn't hurt her in any way. And because she, Sadie, even though it's not really shedding season, she is the shedding queen. So I will show you that um, it picks up the hair in the bristles. Now the only thing, um, something like a Ferminator or a lot of those de-shedding tools have um, a little button that you push that uh, pulls the fur out. This one you have to pull the fur out with your fingers, which really um, isn't a huge deal, but it is just something to keep in mind. Sadie is a, a lickaholic, so you will see her do that um, a lot. So anyway, this is the de-shedding tool, um, and same thing, has the same handle with the ergonomic designed grip, um, and you can lock it into those different positions um, to do whatever either is most comfortable for you, whatever's best for the area of the dog that you're brushing. Um, it may depend on the dog, if you have a tall dog versus a short dog, something like that. Um, so I would definitely recommend um, these brushes for a groomer that does many different types of animals. We also have the undercoat rake. That's this one, and you can see the teeth are much different on this. Um, while they look kind of long and dangerous, the tips are rounded, so they're not going to hurt your dog. Um, and this one, I probably should have Sadie stand up, but then I don't know if I'll ever get her to sit back down in this position. So um, I'm just going to give her a good brush on her back and sides here and see what we can get off. Sadie doesn't have much of an undercoat. Uh, right now, but you can see some hair um, in there. Obviously, it's not shedding season, so um, I'm sure this spring this will come in very handy when she, Sadie is uh, shedding in clumps, but that one is the undercoat rate. Um, and then they have three different types of soft pin brushes. Sadie is such a goof right now. Um, of soft pin brushes. So they have this one, and you can see the little, um, like, their rubber little nubs on this one. Um, so they have, this one is for short hair, then they have one for medium hair, and you can see that the, the um, rubber bristles on this one are a little bit longer, and then they have one for long hair, and these um, rubber bristles are not only the longest, but they're also the widest, um, and that can get down through long haired dogs. I like the rubber bristles because the shed hair really sticks well to the rubber. You can see there's some from Sadie just from a couple of brushes on her. Um, and again, all of these have those adjustable handles. So if you want it flat up against the brush, just use it like I just did where you hold it kind of in your palm um, or you can have it out straight, however you want it. Um, these brushes are all available on Amazon for $14.95 each. Um, you can check out my more detailed review if you would like um, some more details and um, some photos and things like that of these brushes. Um, so the link is below this video for that. If you guys have any other questions, feel free to email me. Uh, thank you for watching this review. I will be back with another product very soon.